going to be my live reaction to the official gameplay trailer for The Sims 4 Love Struck. I'm super excited about this game. Totally looking forward to it. I'm going to do this in 0.75 times so we can kind of catch the smaller details. But let's get started. So just off the bat, I, I, we have confirmed that the steamy kiss must be a new interaction because this is like the second or third time in the trailer that we've seen something like this. Loving that necklace on Karina. So Karina looks like she's our gameplay trailer narrator and I'm really enjoying the necklace that she's got on. This bear with like a like a jewel in the middle. I like, I'm liking Cass and Create a Sim. The sheer shirt with the tank top underneath is really cute. These like decorative pants are nice. Also a new interaction. So that rejection, which I don't know if it's just a rejection for a date or just are they breaking up? But that, that's a new interaction, that broken heart overhead interaction. That also looks like a new interaction. So it looks like they made a love connection or so there's some sort of spark or attraction there, which is interesting. It's cute to see the cuddling. Really appreciate that. So keep its corner, which we know pretty much everything. So in this example, he's looking for a young adult or adult. He create. He says he's creative and romantically reserved. And he's uh, romantically and sexually attracted to women. So let's see how that kind of plays out. So they confirm what we knew, which is romantically reserved. People need to have a connection before they have a spark. I don't know what the difference is between romantically reserved and unflirty though, because unflirty people also don't want to just jump into romantic interactions. So they're going to have to explain that a little bit better. But what I did, I do want to go back just a second because I think I went way too fast. Let's see if I can catch it. So it says that the trait is a turn on. So his original two traits he was creative and romantically reserved, but it says that he's, which is not clear if they mean both traits are a turn on or just a loner trait or just family oriented, but one of these traits is a turn on for him, but I'm not sure why. They're not really showing us the turn on, turn off system, whereas the snob trait is a turn off, but again, I'm not sure why. That doesn't seem to clash with creative or romantically reserved, so it's a little unclear. <laughs> I'm loving that necklace. So it looks like you have different jewels in the necklace, which is nice, you know, because hers is red or the other girl's is purple. Okay, so see, again, clumsy is a turn on, but but why is it a turn on? <laughs> they don't make that clear. Um, hopefully we'll get more information in the live stream. So once you've saved the match or said that you're interested, you have two options. You can either add them to contacts so that you can either call them, text them, social bunny them if you have high school years, or you can start suggesting a date like right now, or you can delete the match. So this looks based on the UI. I'm actually gonna take this, the closed captions off. So you can add a contact, suggest a date or delete, which is interesting. So in this example, they chose to just go on and get a date started. So it looks like there's three new Romantic date options. You can do a get to know you date. So the main objective is to complete the goals based on the activities you choose. And this is going to be selected by your sim around the venue of your choosing. If you hit the gold level of this date, you get a new item. There's also a romantic date option, which sounds like it has different features. You get to pick your location. So it lets you pick anywhere in any world that you own. So you can choose if you're in the new world. So the new world that comes in this pack is City Dad and Murata. And it comes with a park, a gym, a lounge, and a nightclub. Now you also get to pick a minimum of three activities. It looks like there's a pretty long list of activities. This will remind you of my wedding stories or seasons if you're making holidays 
or making wedding events. So from the activities we can actually see, we can see there's three different types of socializing, either a romantically friendly or funny, getting drinks, getting food, physical intimacy, woohoo, TV, cloud or stargazing, board games. Now they cut off some at the next row, but it looks like video games, painting, music, like it seems like there's a bunch of activities and I, I don't know if that's for every venue or just for this example. But of course, it's interesting that you could pick woohoo as an activity. Now, this is interesting because I'm assuming this is a new food stall or cart in the new world because all those look interesting and new. I've never seen a food cart with like a little chili on the top. So that's super interesting. It looks like a burger or some sort of sandwich. She has a new beverage. I'm liking this heart tattoo. Very cute. And then again, this is the new gym that comes with the new world. I like seeing these little kettlebells. I don't know if those are just set decorations or if that's actually going to be something they can work out with. I think this shirt is new. I'm not 100% sure, actually. There's the sexy dance again, which we know is like a new interaction. Now for her, it looks like she's on another date. This is our main narrator chick. That's a different phone case. So I don't know if we're getting new phone cases with this pack or... This is just, I've never noticed that before. Hopefully we get these new picture options when taking dates because we haven't had updates on pictures since like high school years. So that'd be nice. So in the story, because I took off the closed caption, she's going on a date, talking about a date with this guy, but he brought along like an extra person. So it looks like you can bring in your date. If you make it a group date, you can bring one sim or a group of sims. Because it seems like compatibility is not a given. You may be turned off to certain activities. Like what's interesting is it shows a turn off sign, which I guess is this little magnet with the minus. And she's turned off to him being a slob. So that's cool. I guess it's based on traits. New rejection for kiss animation. And it seems like she's just not attracted to him. Is... I guess what we're saying is that there's a lack of attraction. Attraction's been broken. And then she like leaves in the middle of the date, which I don't know if that's something they're going to do autonomously or that's something that we have to make them do. But it seems like she's calling a cab or making up an excuse to leave early. That's actually not really clear. Now for the couple from the original trailer, the launch trailer, looks like they're still coupling. They seem to have a very strong attraction. Seems like a little lightning bolt and they like to do physical intimacy. So that's a turn on for both of them, which is crazy because they're in a public place with like people looking, but he's like all in her neck. <laughs> Just wildin'. Uh, she's also turned on by him mixing a drink. I don't know if it's the mixology skill itself or just the act of mixing a drink is turning her on. She like he likes that she's funny or that she has a sense of humor. Which is so interesting. I like the other people. I hope this happens in game where other people can actually react to your displays of affection. Because right now on The Sims 4, other than Crumple Bottom, they don't. They just don't say anything. Now, this is the most interesting screen so far. So he's turned off by, I don't know if this is the business career or just her occupation. But she's turned on by his. He's turned on by Woohoo. She's turned off by Woohoo. He's turned on by the color red. And so is she. So it's like, I don't know how that plays a factor into actually dating. But it looks like, you know, Don Lothario, he's a big player. He's actually more interested in this other sim that just came to the party. And his original date is like not happy. I love this top. Gonna have to come back to it. This bra with like a sweater over the top with like these rhinestones in the middle. Super cute. That's adorable. And so she's jealous that he is talking to someone else. But I mean, that's kind of his MO. So then they cut to a whole nother scene. This is going to be the pancake family, if you remember them from base game. So of course, Bob and Eliza, I'm sure were happy at one point <laughs> and they were enjoying themselves. But over time, as you saw, they went from being a happily married couple and they had a lot of satisfaction. I'm assuming this is a romantic satisfaction system. Then they had their baby Ziggy and it looks like their satisfaction went down a little bit but they were still mostly satisfied with their marriage and now they're like completely unhappy 
And so he's like, oh, the love is gone or broken. Poor Bob. He always looks miserable. <laughs> like I, Bob Pancake just never looks happy in any of these trailers. So this is a third date option, which is a romantic repair date. So it sounds like it has, I'm sure each one has different goals, different features, but it looks like they dressed up and went to the rabbit hole woohoo hotel <laughs> i forget what they actually called it but you know basically you, you can't get inside with them but you can see that they went there for a night away probably got a babysitter or a nanny to watch ziggy so they can come out and live their best life at this rendezvous I'm liking this. Uh, this is how you're supposed to show off to other people. You're showing off his muscles to this girl. Feeding each other a bite of chocolate. So you can fumble it. He fumbled the chocolate. So maybe he has a low romance skill. Because they said the romance skill plays a part in some of this. Now, of course, our favorite part, which is the costume box. I absolutely love seeing that there's a wrestler costume in different colors. And they're playing a different kind of board game about woohoo i guess uh in the background i do notice that we have a different collection of pictures um more plushies i'm not sure what the theme is another neon light sign thing so i'm kind of cool keeping it fresh in the bedroom i like her answer she put like a lip emoji answer uh new candles here on the end table course our vibrating heart bed but we knew that we knew that was coming back what i do like to see is that the bed or i'm sorry the blanket woohoo can be done anywhere so the first time we saw the blanket woohoo they were at a park sitting on the floor this time it looks like they're sitting on the floor on like a balcony or the top of a building not really clear but so it sounds like as long as you can put the blanket down you can play with it i don't know how these people are making the heart emoji but i hope it's something we can trigger because that's super cute and would be great in screenshots we also have new posters, new bed, I guess a new lamp or new speaker system, uh, more plushies. We have a ton of plushies in this game. So love is like in the air. This is the cutest outfit I've seen. It's more wholesome. All the other outfits we've seen have been kind of racy, but this one's super cute. It's like a plushy sweater. I'm liking her little hair, makes her look like a teenager. She doesn't look like she's ready for romance so it kind of reminds me of the wishing well that came with the romantic garden stuff pack so i'm not sure if this is going to function the same way or function differently but it looks like she's making a wish and then there's somebody behind her loving these earrings it's like half of a heart so maybe you, the other person could wear the other half of the heart i don't know but that's really cool and they, she wished for attraction okay all right so a lot of kissing a lot of making out publicly now this is cute. So it looks like she's going in to kiss him on the cheek, but they kiss on the lips. So it's like a surprise kiss. Not sure how I feel about that either, but really cute. I'm liking seeing new emojis, seeing new gameplay, getting a little bit more information about Cupid's Corner. I still want to understand the attraction system a bit better and the romantic like satisfaction system. Does it just go down over time if you don't do romantic interactions or like how does that work? But for all those of you who want to know more and more information, a week from today on July 18th at 11 a.m., they're going to do a developer live stream on Twitch and YouTube. Hopefully we can see these systems in play. Not 100% sure if they're going to lift an embargo and game changers are going to be able to make their videos. Usually we get that a few days before the pack comes out. But I just really want to understand the systems of the game. I know I feel like I'm harping on that, but it's so hard to understand how this is going to affect gameplay in the long run like specifically for me the romantic system the romantic satisfaction like how does that work so they started off happy then they were like mildly happy then they were unhappy like what made them unhappy was it bad interactions that they did or just a lack of good interactions how do you decide that you're satisfied or not satisfied and then the other system that i'm really curious about of course is the attraction system what makes you more attractive is it just clothing is it just personality is it occupation like how far is this going to go with that and then they didn't show off any of the dynamics so it was mentioned in the in the blog post that their relationship dynamics romantic relationship dynamics of wholesome steamy strained or unpredictable but we don't actually see any of that in this gameplay trailer so again how does that affect your relationship if you're romantically dissatisfied does that make your relationship 
dynamic strained or like what does that do so i kind of want a little bit more information but overall i'm more interested in the pack since i've seen the gameplay trailer than i was before i saw the gameplay trailer and i'm hoping that we get even more questions answered before the pack comes out of course don't pre-order until we get more information this could still be a complete buggy mess or these systems don't work at all or there isn't any other systems and this is just the extent of what we're going to get let me know in the comments below did this gameplay trailer change your opinion on